Flying lesson. Flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Fly Harry through the hoops. Find four beans, one secret wizard card, one secret area, and earn 20 house points. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter? On my whistle then. Oh, I am ready, all right. Take that, Madame Hooch. Oh. I'm sorry, I just absolutely couldn't resist. Ah. ah, there we go. So, hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is August 115 speaking. This was a rude awakening. So, uh, slow down key, left mouse button in this case, and speed up, right mouse button. So I'm gonna show you how to make it across all 82 hoops, get 20 well points done, for Gryffindor, and also essentially get the one and only secret area of this level wow, with its four so beans nice. and a wizard card. Does that sound good? I sure as well hope so, because you have no choice but to enjoy the ride. Now, might I say how liberating it is to control the broom with your mouse only, and to speed up holding the right mouse button. This feels incredible, especially in comparison with the clunky directional keys from the original rings. There's almost no reason to ever stop using the speed up button, that's how precise the controls are. This is great. But it still takes a while to do sharp turn in case you're speeding up, so it's not completely neglected, and I absolutely love the balance between that. Okay, so I'm still amazed we did not get disqualified after hitting everyone with our broom, but there you have it. Okay, and let's get our hands on the secret. You can absolutely do that earlier than here, but this is the order in which I decided to. Okay, Prince of Enchanters, let's see what you have to offer. Merlin, medieval dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters, advisor to the court of King Arthur. I love the fact that they are using some of the Arthurian myth in here, just as an extra added world building. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Merlin plays some role in the Hogwarts Legacy game, although I have not yet played it. I plan to do that over the December, so <laughs> incredibly looking forward. For now, let's dive into the budget Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> okay. We're gonna also hear special congratulations from Madame Hooch for finding us. Bonus house points for a perfect score. Uh, I mean, what she really wants to say is 20 house points for perfect score, but yeah, sure, why not? And there we go, we did it. A perfect score, 20 points for Gryffindor. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find the secret room since 1867. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Okay, Madam Hooch was not kidding. Main menu is exactly where I'm headed next after we finish the rest of the cutscene. First of all, I just want to show you that this time Gryffindor did get 20 points, and seems no one else did. So, the mechanism works for completing spell challenges and learning to draw the spell patterns, but not for broomstick practice, interestingly enough. Anyway, uh, let's let the cutscene finish, and I will see you guys back at the main menu. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. And there we are. If you access the Quidditch menu from here... Oh, this time <laughs> the screen updated according to my new save file, so Quidditch is locked. But the broom practice isn't. So, important thing about the broom practice, we will actually have to repeat the same course we did in the main campaign before the more advanced one is unlocked. And you will hear Madame Hooch saying how you get points for Gryffindor, even congratulating you for opening the same secret area, but it's completely inconsequential, right? Nevertheless, I wanted to complete the advanced course that exists in this game, so let's dive right in. Flying lesson. Flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Fly Harry through the hoops. 
Now, for full disclosure, whilst Madame Hooch will congratulate you for finding the same secret area as we did in the campaign, and she will mention earning house points, you will in fact earn no additional house points, and the fact that you found this secret area within the broomstick practice does not register anywhere, besides we already have encountered it as part of the main game. So just enjoy the advanced flying course. Welcome back, Mr. Potter. Now, let's begin your training. Control your broom with Yeah, she's saying the keys. same lines over, so instead... The speed up and slow oh, down keys... I thought we could use speed, speed up and slow down keys while she's talking. That's strange, usually I'm able to do that. I want to rudely interrupt Ready, her, Potter? but nothing like that. On then. my whistle, then. Okay, any other students around here? No, just Madame Hooch. Ah, so now you're gonna get it. <laughs> I love that so much. So now we're just gonna have a repeat of the same assault course, well, assault course, flying lesson that we had in the main campaign. Well done, Mr. Potter. But alas, it is the only way to access the advanced one. And for the longest time, I had no idea that there even exists an advanced flying course in this game. It took me by surprise. Did you guys, those of you who played this game many, many years ago, did you know that there exists such a course? Yeah, now we get a congratulation me message for finding the secret room. I guess the previous student who These found it, it happened a couple of years after the events in Hogwarts Legacy, I'm not sure. But what matters is that I want to get a congratulation during every run because I guess I'm a completionist, I don't know. <laughs> Even in consequential things, we just gotta achieve. Come on. Okay. And there we go. Onto the red ones. Now, the funny thing about the red moving rings is that they move so quickly that they actually end up covering more ground than if they would be still. You know what I mean? Not horizontally, but vertically. Oh my god. Vertically, they actually cover a higher area than they would if they were to sit still. So. As a result, the course is easier. Ooh, difficult to see them against the bright sky. Okay, and there we go. We are finished with over half of the time remaining. A perfect score. 20 points for Gryffindor. Oh look, we can now do this on the broom as she's talking. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find <laughs> the secret room since 1867. 1867? Isn't that even you before Hogwarts Legacy? qualified for the challenge course. Huh. Flying through all these rings will be difficult, but let's see what you're capable of. This is what I wanted to hear. Have another round with different hoops. Press escape if you'd rather leave. Immersion breaking lines are my favorite. The camera, by the way, always tilts upwards. I'm not doing anything with the mouse when that happens. It's just an unnecessary consequence of using this mod. Eh, small price to pay. So, 11 purple hoops, 11 blue, then 11 greenish yellow, then 11 orangish yellow, and then 25 red, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So it's the same exact number of hoops, even in the same colors and numbers, but just assigned to different places. And when we complete it, Madame Hooch will just keep... Uh-oh. We have a crash. That has never happened before. I think we're too fast for this game. You know what, guys? I'm gonna see you back at this spot attempting the challenge course again. You've qualified for the challenge course. Okay, we Flying have another shot at this. Please, Madam Hooch, could we do without the crashes? Please. Never thought about what a weird name Madam Hooch is teaching students. She sounds like she has an alcohol problem. Anyway. Okay, so, on we go. This time, like the Big Rigs victory screen says, you are a winner. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Again, I'll want to enter the secret room just to, I don't know, get that extra praise, even though that's going to result in worse time score, but it just feels incredible to do it still. Now, I think it was somewhere around the orange hoops, like here, that the game crashed. Ah, we're good. Awesome. Whoa, I can barely see them through the sky. You know what, let's get to the secret area now. Because I have no idea when we'll get another shot. I don't know this assault course as well as the basic one. But it's not that much more difficult. I think what makes it more difficult is just the fact that it's different than what we've been doing. With. But anyway, it's the same number of purple, blue, green, yellowish, and orange, yellowish, and red hoops as before, just as I said, different placement. 
Okay, 20 more to go. Alright. Okay, something's wrong with Madame Hooch's voice. Oh my god. Okay, okay. She's leaving out syllables. She really needs her drink. Okay, okay. Well, let's do this. There we go. Four more. Three, two, one. A perfect score. 20 points for Griffin. Again, lies. See what you're capable of. No, no, no. No, please, not again. It's just gonna be the same course again. Have another round with different hoops. Press escape if you'd rather leave. And pressing escape is what I'll do. So there we have it. You do have to go to the main menu. You have to repeat the same course you did in the main campaign to have the advanced course accessible. And now if you are not to press escape but just continue, you will go over the same advanced course over and over and over. There is no third advanced course. There is no special recognition or anything like that. Um, this is a very rough implementation of this, but... It's something that I really skipped over in my original playthrough, so I just wanted to show you the different ring placement, all right? So hopefully you had fun, you know, seeing us flying. And honestly, the first time I played this with this mod, seeing the free mouse movement when flying the broomstick, oh, I could not wait for Quidditch. And Quidditch is not going to disappoint in this regard. So we have absolutely something to look forward to. And for the time being, this is all. I will see you guys next time tomorrow where we'll be learning two incredibly useful charms.